Hello and welcome to SuperTech. In the previous part, we have seen how to assemble the frame for a 3D printer. In this part, we are going to assemble the mechanical parts of the printer, enabling movement in the X, Y and Z axis. So let's get started. These are the 3D printed parts we are going to use. All the file links are available in the video description. We can start with the Y axis carriage plate. To assemble the V wheels, we insert the eccentric spacers in the larger holes. Take the M5 low profile bolt, insert the V wheel. Insert a spacer and then insert the wheel through the eccentric spacer. Repeat the same for the remaining wheels. Turn the plate and place it on the wheels. Now insert 5 mm washers and tighten them with nylock nuts. and our Y axis carriage plate is ready. Before inserting the carriage plate, make sure the eccentric spacers are positioned outwards. Now gently insert the plate on the Y axis profile and on the eccentric spacers using a spanner so that the wheels are close and have a tight grip on the profile. This is the Y axis front plate for mounting the idler pulley. Fasten it using M5 sliding nuts and bolts in this way. Now insert the idler pulley and tighten it with the nylock nut. In the same way, mount the Y axis back plate for the motor. Now we will attach the GT2 belt and pulley to the Y axis carriage. Attach the GT2 pulley on the stepper motor shaft. And attach the stepper motor on the back plate with M3 screws. Now we place the belt through the ends of the pulleys. Cut it to required length.
and attach using the aluminum belt clamp. Then pull the front plate to tighten the belt. We will now attach the x-axis profile to our frame. Assemble the V-wheels in the same way we did for the y-axis carriage. and mount the plates on the 400mm 20x40mm profile with sliding nuts. Do the same for the right side. Do not tighten the bolts as we require some adjustment. Remove the top profile and slowly insert the x-axis profile. Place the top profile again and tighten its bolts. Turn the eccentric spacers to tighten the grip of the V-wheels. Now tighten the allen bolts on the outer side of the plates. Remove the top profile again. Remove the X profile. Tighten the remaining bolts and insert it again. And place the top profile back. Turn the eccentric spacers again to have a firm grip on the profile. We will continue with the mechanical assembly in the next part. Thanks for watching.